Well, more people are starting to venture out and travel, and new this morning, I have Cassie Steiger here with me today from Curated Travel Company. Thanks so much for joining us on Good Day Dakota this morning. Thank you for having me. Well, it's obvious that people are itching to get back to the beach, or basically just get out of their homes, yes. and recently you went through a process to learn what it looks like to go through that re-entry process um, back into the United States. So can you mm -hmm. tell us about that? Yeah, for sure. Um, last week I returned from Mexico. Um, as many people know, the CDC implemented a new order back in January that you need a negative COVID test to come back to the U.S. So we went down to Mexico for five days. While we were there, they set up our test for us. We took the test, got our negative results, showed them at the airport, boarded the plane, and came home. So. So it's easy as that. I love that they on the uh, uh, they have that on location on, on yes. the, the testing sites. Oh, yeah, most of the resorts do right now um, because you basically you need a test to come back from anywhere outside of the U.S. So they'll provide it for you. They set it up at check-in, and you just show up at your designated time, I guess. Well, it sounds so easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I, full disclosure, it was a little stressful knowing that there was the potential of the negative, but I've, you know, we took a test before we went down there, so I was fairly confident it would be okay. I love that yeah. so much. So what are some tips that you have been telling your clients as they prepare to go back to travel? You know, the first thing we do is just kind of talk to them about um, everything that could happen while they're there and kind of gauge their comfort level to determine if they're going to leave the country or stay in the U.S. Um, Definitely, you need to wear a mask on the plane, um, hand sanitizer, washing your hands, but really just practice social distancing out of North Dakota as you would here in town. That's not so bad. No. So um, anything else that you can recommend for people as they're kind of preparing back to travel? Have you heard of anyone kind of scared to travel or are they just ready to go? So many people are ready to go and others, you know, they still want to stay home. It's everybody's personal decision. But for those that want to travel, definitely start talking about it, whether it's now or, you know, next November, December. We're just giving people hope that you can book your travels now. We've got insurance that covers cancellations. Um, if you want to go next month we can help you out if you're going to go next january there's that option too i love that so much and yeah. people are traveling in the united states as well yeah we've seen an uptake of domestic travel um hawaii is picking up we've got um a destination wedding headed to um st thomas this weekend so oh that's people are out so there fun. Mm -hmm. i love that so much well it's so great yeah. that people are excited to just kind of start getting back to normal yeah i think people it, it's been almost a year i mean we're 11 months in now. Mm -hmm. we, we all want to get out and explore safely, I guess. Well, thank you so much for yeah. your tips and for your time today. And if you want to know more about current travel guidelines or maybe even want to plan your next adventure, you can just click on this story at kxnet.com. Now let's switch it up to Amber. Uh, weather, Amber, how is the weather like today for those who are traveling? Well, here, if you're traveling in state, it's bone chilling cold. But if you're getting on a plane, uh, I hope you're going to someplace warmer. 